Hey guys, and welcome back. And uh, today I'm at home. <laughs> it's okay. I do need a day off myself, but I want to take this opportunity to show you guys something, which is basic avionics work, okay? Repinning a can of blood. This is might seem intimidating to you, but it's actually not that bad. So let me take you through this process here. This is a decommissioned uh, can of plug, and uh, I got a wire in there with a pin that's already in there. So a very simple layout right here, a three pin plug. This is considered a, very, uh, a can of plug, obviously. And um, what most technicians get intimidated on when it comes to this is utilizing this tool right here. This is your extraction tool and insertion tool, okay? So if you look closely right here, I don't know if the camera is going to focus on here on this, but the red part, the red part is your insertion side. The white one is your extraction side. So the way this works is that when you insert a pin, which we will show you on this here in a second, the when you insert a pin, you will align the pin in such a such a way right here where you can get the lip of the pin right there once that's done what you will do is grab your tool put it in the hole right here in the respective hole or you know yeah remember you do have to label these before you do this this is just an example once you do this you push in Gently, be very gentle when you're working with wires and can of plugs. As soon as you hear a click, and you'll feel it, trust me, you will feel it with your hands, and you'll hear a slight little click. Once you feel that, gently extract the tool. By the way, these tools come in different varieties and different sizes. And once that's done, make sure to give it a tug. See, that is locked into place. Very simple, very easy. Now you say we want to extract it. We're going to utilize this one to extract, okay? Use the extraction tool. You push in like this. You slip the wire into the slot. You go in like this and you push down. Once you start pushing down, you're going to feel that same lip, okay? do this very slowly and the wire is very short so when you do have this kind of technique you're gonna have to have to bend the wire just slightly not too much just in order to get some kind of grip on it obviously the wire will be longer it will extend out through the wire bundle but this is just an example once you get down in there you'll feel the tip of this tool slip over that lip and the lip I'm talking about is this right here. It's gonna slip over this lip. Once that's done, you'll feel it. You grab the side and you kind of pull gently. Not always you'll get it the first time. Notice how I'm not getting it the first time. And there you go. Notice how the tool, this is what it actually does inside. Obviously you can't see it, but this is what it's actually doing. The tool is slipping over the lip itself, this portion. It's much bigger than the insertion. It's the extraction point. So what it will do when you push further down into it, it will basically look like this. It, it would look like this inside the can of plug. Come on, focus for me. There you go. That's what it will looks like when you're ex extracting it. But when you're inserting it, it's the complete opposite. The passageway is much more narrow and it looks like this. Sorry, I'm <laughs> trying to uh, maneuver it. It's a short wire. I should have gotten a longer wire. When you're inserting the, pill, the pin, it, the tool will hug this portion of it. So, as you can see. So here, we'll do an, another example. We'll do this one right here. Pull in, just like this. Grab the wire. 
and push in gently, very gentle, because you don't want to break the tool and have it stuck inside. I think I got it. Oh, there it is. Got it. Felt that little click. Grab the wire bundle or the wire, yank just gently, just gently, and slowly extract. See? Easy. And that is basic avionics work. So it's not that hard, guys. You don't have to be avionics qualified for this. Um, you, it just takes practice and it takes time to understand how to do this. And everybody can do this. All my aircraft maintenance technicians can do this. It's not a hard thing to do. So quick little tutorial for you. Hope you guys are having a great day. But yeah. Um, and just a little further more on wiring. Um, to crimp these wires, there's a very special tool for this as well. And that takes, you know, obviously special training and understanding how to use the tool properly and how to properly insert the pins onto the wire. So all these, even all these colors on the pins, they mean something, you know, the gauge of the wire. Um, there's also cannon plugs that are, can be extracted not only from the back, but from the front. This one is a back extracting style cannon plug. So you can only take the pins out from the back. There's other cannon plugs that are, that you can push through the front and it will come out the back. And uh, once I have access to those, or I have the, the tooling for it, I'll show you guys. But in just of it, I just wanted to give you guys a uh, good understanding of how to extract and how to insert pins. So yeah, fun stuff. Hope you guys enjoyed it. See you later.